And that is a wisdom that a lot of our economic leaders are very much lacking in. They, they go back to Adam Smith. Be, they love his philosophy because it justifies a great deal of personal greed. And John Nash, of course, proved that Adam Smith was not accurate, that really wise leadership looks at the whole system along, together with their self-interest in order to move society forward. But again, we don't know what he's going to do. He may be very sincere about wanting to do well for the country. He may just be another in a long line of presidential con artists that we have been suckered into supporting. Um, I don't think he was the intended plan for a president, but he is a professional politician. So we will see. Now, obviously, as we get a little bit further into the show here, I want to go back and do a quick recap on this Israel and Gaza situation. And by the way, if you want to call into the show, our number is 800-259-9231. Same number that you call to get onto my show, 800-259-9231. And when you uh, call in and just uh, say hi to our technicians who are doing yeoman service today, apparently they're dealing with a lot of really, really bad technical glitches today and uh, uh, because of all that's going on. So uh, call in and say hi to them. Now, getting onto the situation uh, with Gaza. We've only got a few minutes until the break here. This last weekend, Israel declared a ceasefire and said, we're going to keep our troops in place. Hamas then said, we declare a ceasefire to give you time to get out. And a lot of people said the ceasefire offer from Israel was intended to be broken because if a guy breaks into your home and he kills your family and he burns up your kitchen, then he stops you in your living room and says, I'll stop shooting at you if you stop shooting at me, but I'm going to stay in your living room. That's not a deal anybody would go for. Now, the latest reports that we're getting from sources on the ground in Gaza, two things. One, Israel is still continuing occasional aerial bombardments. This may be unofficial, just from frustrated soldiers lobbying the last few phosphorus shells and whatnot. We are also hearing that the ground forces, Israel's ground forces, are in fact being withdrawn. This is not officially being acknowledged. Israel doesn't want to say, we're pulling out of Gaza but apparently the ground forces are in fact leaving. So hopefully this situation is going to calm down. Thankfully, thankfully, because of people like you who called your newspapers, called the radio shows, called your congressman, talked to your friends because of that huge public pressure, Israel was unable to expand the Gaza war into Lebanon or Syria or Jordan or, worst case, Iran. This latest attempt to create a regional war in the Mideast possibly a precursor to World War III, got stopped in its tracks. And that was due to the public outcry. So you are all peacemakers, and congratulations. You can count coup on this one, definitely. Now, looking at the economy here, we got a couple more minutes before the break. I just wanted to note that apparently Wall Street is a little bit less enthusiastic about Barack Obama than some other people because the stock market, the Dow, is down about 180 points right now. And I, I remember back when George Bush was sworn in, the stock market just had a field day. They just went way, way, way up into the stratosphere and everybody was cheering. The economy is going to be wonderful and we're all going to be rich. And uh, for a while it looked like it was working until we began to realize that almost all of the economic progress over the last few years has been creative bookkeeping, to put it politely, or pyramid schemes, to call it less politely, that did not bring new money into the system. It simply moved the debt around and concealed it and papered it over with more paper fiat currency. And this is probably the biggest single crisis that Barack Obama is inheriting from the previous administration, is an economy that is in dire, dire trouble and no real easy, quick solutions uh, on the horizon that he can take advantage of. And uh, uh, Biden and some other people were talking about having to make some very unpopular decisions. And I think we know what some of those decisions might be and why in the long run I don't think they're going to be workable. So I want you to put on your thinking caps. I know we're all watching uh, uh, President Bush say goodbye and, and head on off to wherever he's going to head off to. And Barack Obama is heading over to start his day on the job here. But he's facing a lot of challenges, and I'd like to hear what your opinions about those challenges are as soon as we come back from this break for words from our sponsors.
Are you one of the millions of people who make New Year's resolutions? Are you also one of the millions who wind up breaking those resolutions? How uh, would you like to keep at least one of those resolutions this year? Well, right now, success is one click away. Let this be the year you are going to protect yourself year-round. Pepperspray.com can help keep you safe by offering you the largest assortment of pepper spray and other personal safety devices on the web. Check out our monthly specials as well as receiving a 10% savings by using coupon code GCN when you shop at pepperspray.com. Be proud of yourself this year for taking the biggest and easiest step in self-defense and shop pepperspray.com or call 1-800-908-9988. That's 1-800-908-9988. Pepperspray.com wishes you and yours a safe and happy 2009. It is a big idea, a new world order. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their dark order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the new world order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. For the first time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government. Most people have no idea. They're not after money. They have all the money they need. They're after power. That's their aphrodisia. Order Endgame on DVD at PrisonPlanet.com or InfoWars.com. Or watch it online right now at PrisonPlanet.tv. Endgame. Blueprint for global enslavement. You have been warned. Hello, Ted Anderson. Listeners of the network are familiar with the Federal Reserve note and understand the risks of deficit spending. Therefore, with catastrophic events, it comes as no surprise that some banks have currently placed limits on the amount of cash depositors can remove from their accounts. A fractional reserve system means only a small portion of your deposit is held in reserve for immediate withdrawal. Deficit spending will skyrocket through FDIC if the government is forced to insure deposits during a bank run followed by a depressed economy. A current effort is underway by the Fed along with other central banks to increase liquidity for depositors. However, an increase in money supply without equal expansion and productivity can cause inflation. In order to achieve strength and stability, I recommend a conservative portion of all investments to be calmly repositioned into gold and silver. While paper investments currently have been driven by debt, gold on its own has held value for over 6,000 years. For more information, call 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Attention, this is an extremely urgent self-reliant news bulletin. If you have ever wanted to produce your own cheaper-than-dirt survival food, this is going to be the most important message you will ever hear. Here is why. This network has just learned of a new video course that reveals the secrets of how to safely prepare and store all types of survival foods in an event of social unrest and food shortages here in the U.S. Grain shortages and hunger are spreading across the globe. Will troops guard the food supplies in the U.S. this fall? Don't wait. Learn the food shortage skills that can keep you and your family alive in a crisis. Get the details at foodshortageusa.com. That's foodshortageusa.com. Or you can call toll-free 877-327-0365. Don't wait for empty shelves. Go to foodshortageusa.com while you still have time. www.foodshortageusa.com. Or toll-free at 877-327-0365. Act now. All right. And uh, here we are. Welcome back to the show here. I didn't even recognize the bump music. Uh, you know, there's an old saying that if you can't say something, something nice about somebody, don't say anything at all. And I guess they're following that dictum over at MSNBC because I was watching uh, during the coverage of President and Mrs. Bush, former President Bush, uh, thankfully, getting onto the helicopter at Andrews Air Force Base. And the commentators are talking about whether hats are coming back into fashion for men or not. And I guess they are that desperate not to say anything negative 